Hey everyone, Engineered Coffee. I've gotten some questions on using the uh, event controller airlock while in atmosphere. Uh, and there is some pitfalls there, so I wanted to go over that and then come up, uh, show you one of my solutions that I've come up with. Um, so I've got this set up with the sensor from the last video. So when we walk into range here, it closes that inner door, cycles the airlock, uh, and we're able to get inside. And what you'll notice is this is set to depressurize. Um, so it's taking all this outside air and putting it into our tank. So that's not great. Um, so we get on this side, stop that process, get inside here, and we look at the tank. Um, put our HUD back on. Uh, yeah, we're at 53.4. We were at 50,000 even on the liters there. So we're uh, definitely going to fill this tank pretty quickly, especially if we leave that uh, door in depressurized mode. Um, my first thought was to control the vent to turn it on and off um, when this outer door was open, but the problem I was having is this would still depressurize to zero before that door would open, all the outside air would rush back in, and then the tank would only need to fill like one dot worth of atmosphere back inside, um, so it's still going to overfill over time. So what I've come up with is a two event controller system. Uh, we have our in-space one. This is the same as it was before. Um, toggle on and off the inner door, on and off the outer door, and then depressurize on off the vent in our third toolbar here. Um, the in atmo control is basically the same. Um, on off the inner door, on off the outer door, and then on the third slot we're going to open the outer hatch instead of um, controlling the vent. Um, and there's a couple more things we need to change as well, and I do all of this through a timer block so we go here to set up actions, um, it will turn off the airlock um, event controller, turn on the atmospheric one. Uh, this should be the tank. I reset the tank, so that's uh, not the right one. So that should turn off the tank, and then it should turn on the outside air vent um, that you saw at the entrance when we walked in. Uh, and then I've got it set up here on a button panel to toggle between, so I just do a trigger now on that timer. So now you notice this one's green, this one's red, our tank is off, and then that outside air vent is on. So now when we walk through here, it's just going to immediately open this door. All that air gets sucked out into atmosphere, um, which is fine because we're going to replenish it from atmosphere anyway with this uh, vent. So when we walk back through, cycles through, fills the airlock, and we're able to get inside. We still have our high pressure and warm inside here. Um, our sensors and our buttons and all that stuff still work exactly the same, um, so we don't have to mess with anything there or, or change any controls. Um, so that's really good. Uh, so that works really well. Um, you do have to remember to switch between states. I do that through this button. You could do it through an, another event controller. You could do altitude or you could go um, like select natural gravity here. That would also work. Um, but that's only helpful if you're going from like Earth-like up into space. It doesn't help you if you're on Mars or the moon because uh, you'd want to leave it in um, airlock control. But uh, there's my quick solution. Uh, it works pretty well. Just got to remember to toggle between. Um, and then you have to have an extra uh, event controller and a timer. All right. Hope this helps and have a great day.